Kia ora, Chrissy back again, and we are going to get into the next episode of Breaking Bad. So last time we had the uh, aftermath of the uh, plane collision over uh, Albuquerque. I think it picks up a few weeks after the um, collision and Jesse is in rehab still. Walter is basically sulking in, uh, at home. I mean, I, I understand why he's sulking. After uh, Skylar put her foot down and has asked to leave, well, Walter to leave. Uh, he seems to be very depressed at the moment, um, even going so far as to burn a lot, or well, try to burn a lot of the money that he had accumulated in the barbecue um, before realizing that that's not a good idea and putting it out. Um, but things be between him and Skylar are pretty damn rocky right now. And we find out later on that she has gone to see a divorce lawyer um, and she is uh, getting uh, the papers ready to serve her, to, uh, to, to serve to Walter. But when the uh, lawyer mentions, you know, uncovering or possibly uncovering uh, any kind of secret money that uh, that Walter may have, Skylar kind of goes a bit quiet. Um, I don't think she wants to know. At that stage, I don't think she wants to know where this money's coming from, though we later find out that she knows exactly where it's coming from and she confronts Walter, um, accuses him of being a drug dealer, um, though she only thinks that it is pot that he is dealing. But Walter comes clean and tells her that he is in the meth game. But that is where the money came from and she is obviously um, disgusted by it. And she, But she promises to not expose that secret if um, Walter agrees to the divorce and the demands that come with it, which I'm assuming, guessing, means the custody of their two children. Uh, with Jesse's time in rehab, um, feeling very sorry for himself that he caused uh, the death of Jane, and by extension, um, all of those people that died in those planes. So Jesse is finding it very hard to um, to get out of that well of despair that he is in. Um, Walter picks him up from rehab, takes him back home, expresses to him that the accident had, was not his fault, you know, that he couldn't control the outcome of that. To which Jesse responds quite sadly actually by saying that he has learned to not shy away from who he really is, is the bad guy. I'm worried that he's going to take this bad guy persona on and become worse. So it'll be interesting to see how Jesse goes forward from from now. Walt gets a text from Gus to go and see him, um, offers him a pretty damn lucrative deal, a three million dollar deal for three months work, and even though Walter you know, considers it, he turns it down. I don't think that's going to be the last of that, whether he gets pulled into it against his will or not, um, but we'll see. So we're going to get into the next episode uh, of Breaking Bad. I'm going to attempt to pronounce this, and if I butcher it, I apologize. My uh, Spanish isn't the greatest, I'm guessing it's Spanish. Caballo sin nombre. If I've said that wrong, I apologize. If I said it right, give me some props because I took like one month of Spanish like um, when I was in high school 27 years ago. So before I got kicked out of school. So yeah, let's get into this next episode and um, find out what's going to happen to our boys. Let's do it. We're still following these guys, I imagine. Oh, it's Walter. What is he doing? Where is he going? Oh, it's the Popo. That's not, that's not usual. Is that one cop? Don't they usually go out in pairs? Good morning, officer. Sorry, can you turn the music down? Down means off. No, it doesn't. Down means down. Off means off. You know why I pulled you over this morning? Why do they always ask that? It's such a stupid question. Your windshield. License oh, that's right. Please. This was from Wayfarer 515. Sir, regardless of how that windshield was damaged, 
His car is unsafe to drive in this condition. He's right. He's right. Oh, buddy. Oh, don't get wait, out. Wait just a minute. At least have the common decency to hear me out. You need to step back right now. Did you even pepper spray the man who's expressing his opinion under the First Amendment? <laughs> yeah, I have thoughts about that. That could have gone very wrong under very different circumstances. Border Patrol came across multiple homicides. Border Patrol's been playing hide and seek with these polleros for two years. You ask me, this is high end cartel work. Los Santos, maybe. We're waiting on that famous blue meth of yours. 29 days since we saw it last. It's still out there, going, man. Don't worry. Trader. Hey, what's up, Paul? Well, I guess it's a good call. Call the cop in your family. Is this Jesse? It is Jesse. 45 days. Okay, good start. Oh no, that's not um, that's not his apartment. Is this his parents' house? Jesse. Hey, Dad. Fixing up the house, huh? Oh. You doing okay? Yeah, I'm good. I just happened to be driving by and think uh, I could get a the, tour. You, these guys are cool. You're looking healthy. He is looking good. Gorgeous, actually. No, I come by sometime for uh, dinner or something. Sometime. Don't blame. Don't blame him for being a little standoffish after everything. She's divorcing me. Tell you, buddy. She doesn't want me to see the kids. She said that. Yeah. To Hank, that might sound like real shit, but you know, hey, but Walter and we know why. And so far, I, apart from the whole possible cheating aspect, which I'm hoping doesn't happen, but probably will. I don't know. I don't get the ha the absolute hate for Skyler yet because she hasn't done anything disaster. too unreasonable she's not going to the cops she's not going to tell a living soul you want to know why blowback if she okay. blabs it'll be a disaster for her it's not going to happen she's bluffing oh shit that's a dangerous game to assume all of that i've lost my family everything that i care about it's bad oh, it's a calamity <laughs> We live to fight another day. There are other fish in the sea. Oh God, come on, soul. First step, talk to our friend and get cooking. I can't be the bad guy. Okay. Just uh, promise me you won't hang yourself in the closet. I imagine soul would want him to cook because he gets a pretty good cut out of it. So he'd want to make it work. Yeah. It's me. We may have a wife problem. <gasps> you got an address? This Mike, apparently, his name is. I don't think we've been told what his name is yet, but you guys have told me, so. Is that a, is that a PSP that he's playing music on? Hey, dinner's going to be late. Um, if you're hungry, I could wrestle something up. He's going to explode at dinner, isn't he? Two-day drive from the nearest ocean, and you're eating raw fish. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I agree with you, Hank. <laughs> you know, um, Flynn uh, here is looking for a part-time job. My my oh, name's yeah. Walter Jr. Oh. I, what, you can't, you can't even say his name? Um. Come on now, Walter Jr. <laughs> you don't even care. And now, he, he won't even drive me home. You may not love him anymore, but I do. Why, why you gotta be such a... Oh, a bitch! Hey. Whoa! <laughs> the day I heard the word second cell phone, I know, believe me. Stop dancing around it. What is it? Look, a guy like Walt, yeah. underachiever, dead end life, okay? <laughs> I was running out, midlife crisis. He acts up. It's a story as old as time. Underachieve? Oh my god. I don't know. I think it just feels like. More. Something more. Oh no, is Marie gonna try to crack the case? It could be dangerous. Return of the prodigal. Welcome back to the land of the living. How you feeling? I'm good. Hey, I'm uh, I'm jealous. You know what's giving me heartburn lately? Your former partner. Finally, the big money shows up, and what does he do? He walks out. You wouldn't talk to him, would you? You want a job? Who's got a job for me? I do. He's gonna be the bad guy, isn't he? Since Walter White. Okay. 
He's going to take the lead on this. He's going to make the blue sky without him. Oh. Oh. Got bags. Oh no, not these guys. Oh, shit. It's the uncle. Fuck, we haven't seen him for a long time. Bro. They are two coast cousins. Ouija board. Ooh. That's dangerous thinking there. Please don't. No! Shit! Okay. Hey. Okay. I don't want to bring this up, but I, I can't sign off in these quarterlies. I'm sorry. Are these the uh, ones that he's fudged? If you're going to do this, it can't be so glaring. She's going to help him do it? Counter. Again. God, I'm sorry. I know how you feel about this. How about if I just push uh, 28000 out of this into next quarter? Could you sign it then? He's seriously asking her how to fudge his box. Even though she's against it. What if your kids found out? How would you explain it to them? That whatever I did, I did thinking of them. Trying to provide. And, uh, you know what? Truth is, I haven't thought that far ahead, Skyler. I'm, I'm just trying to keep my head above water. So. Hi, Walt. Yeah, what? He was here when I got home. He's not staying. He understands that. I'll, I'll bring him anywhere you want. Right. Okay, good. So we'll meet you at the house. Why, why are you doing this? Your mother, she has her reasons. There are two sides to every story, always. This is just how it has to be. Your home is your home, and that is where you belong. Dad, it, it's your house. Everybody knows that you haven't done anything wrong. It's, it's not about taking sides, though. I can see this taking a weird turn. Uh, let me first just hit the old bathroom here. What does he expect is going to happen? Okay, what is this? What is this uh, job that Jesse has? Hello. Oh. Good afternoon. Nice to meet you, Saul. Good. Oh no! Is he going to fight them for the house? We're here to discuss the sale of the property at ninety-eight oh nine Margo. Well, folks, today's your lucky day. <clears throat> I represent a client who shall remain nameless. This individual wants to buy your house today for cash. You could ask Mr. Gardner. I've shown him all the pertinent financials. There's just one little hair in the soup, uh, the price. We feel 875 is very fair. Wiggle us on down to 400 and you got yourselves a deal. You put almost that much into the renovations alone. So half, less than half price. I just thought some allowance was in order once I heard about the meth lab. <laughs> Looked over your signed disclosure statements and I don't see any mention of a meth lab. <laughs> so... Fraud in service of concealing a felony. And don't get me wrong, I applaud your cojones. Good try of sneaking a meth-contaminated property past the buyer. I could file a suit and encumber this property. I don't think any of us want that. Now, do we? How about a counselor? I love you, Saul. I love you so much. His rants make him so attractive. <laughs> Fuck, is that a pizza? Okay. How is that possible? Oh, hey. Hello? Pizza. <laughs> well, I'm making dinner. Uh, put it in the fridge. It's even better the next day. Huh? Hi, honey. Awkward. What kind of example do we want to set here? I thought I made myself very clear. Um. <laughs> okay. What a waste of a pizza. We're on a bender. <clears throat> Oh, it's that eyeball. What was that from? Oh, that was from the pool um, filter. When I went out this morning to get the newspaper, I saw a pizza on our roof. You need to control yourself. Keep your distance.
assistance, I will get a restraining order. Oh, fuck. Skyler, get your restraining order right here. Restrain this. <laughs> Breaking even's not so bad. In this economy, a lot of people would kill to break even. It's gonna be Jesse. Oh, God, this is all we need. Hey, Mom. Come to claim Dad? the house. Jesse, it's uh, really not a good time. Bought the place. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Pizza. <laughs> Mystic Palm, Gem and Terror. Was he gonna bug the place? Magic, Magic arrow. Emma? What is going on? What is he doing? And you know uh -oh. you can heal them all. He's moving his ship back. His position. Refractions of your center prism. Your magic arrow. Change the locks. Find the new work that he did. put a camera in there recording device oh god who is this now oh no oh no oh no they are impeccably dressed though you have to a bit oh fuck was a recording device. Fuck. Fuck. What's he gonna do? It's me. There's something you should know about. Hold on. Uh oh. Ooh. What? Gus knows who they are? Mike knows Gus? I thought... They do know Gus. Oh my goodness. They're going to be gone. You can remember your name. Mm hmm. Moved. Okay. So we got Mike the Handler. I assume he's a handler. I'm just going to call him Mike the Handler. Sol knew a guy, he called Mike, and then you get these Salamanca um, cousins coming from Mexico to kill him, to kill, sorry, Walter, and he gets seen, they get seen by Mike, and he calls Gus, um, and I'm guessing it was Gus that got in touch with um, the boy, the Salamanca boys, so they're all interconnected somehow. I was going to say earlier that after Sol, you know, said that uh, she's bluffing and, and explained why um, he thought that, I could almost see Walter pushing that boundary of you're not going to go to the police about it because of these reasons. Um, so fuck it, I'm going to move home. Calling her bluff, basically. Um, she can still apply for a restraining order though, can't she? I don't know, I, I guess. I guess so. So whether she does that still or not, I don't know. Still a lot of our hostility on Walter Jr.'s behalf who now wants to go by Walter Jr. Thank God, because I hated 
the fact that he was calling himself Flynn. I mean, I get why he was doing it, but, uh, you know, he's gone back to his original name. Really giving it to his mum at the moment. But as I was saying earlier, there is a lot of, there is a lot of Skylar hate that I've read. And so far, I don't understand where it comes from. Because you have to remember that we know things that she doesn't. You know, in, in her perspective, um, from what she thought, finding the second cell phone in that, uh, Walter was cheating on her. And then when she found out that it wasn't cheating, but he was, he was a drug dealer and a meth dealer, um, I, I think she's had the right reaction to that uh it's only because you know we know this we, we know walter's side of it we know everything that she doesn't uh, that i think we um I hate her for the reaction she's had now putting aside the fact that she clearly had some kind of intention earlier to um flirt flirt with um you know her boss i don't mind flirting i do it all the time with people at work but it's never serious um and i don't know it's kind of like a mutual thing um at work oh God, i can't believe i'm saying this um at work unfortunately one of the guys that you know i always have quite have, have a lot of fun <laughs> um you know sharing in in some pretty <laughs> out there innuendo with actually leaving our department i'm sad because i don't know it was always quite fun uh but there's a flirting to the point of wanting to get this get a person's attention like what she did when she pushed those pens off the desk that's not just flirting to me that is that is possibly wanting something to happen um so putting that aside i know um and how I feel about cheating. That's kind of the only downside for me for Skylar. Um, her reactions in that to um, um, the suspicions around Volta, I, I understand, I fully understand. Um, wanting to divorce him, I fully understand. Um, keeping the children away, because we know why, is that he's, he, he, he makes meth, he's in the drug game. Um, he has dangerous people around him. You know we know that he does um so yeah i understand wanting to keep the children safe and keeping him away from them um but that's only because we know the shit that walter has gone through um she doesn't know um, and, and and you know she she knows that now um probably not to the extent that we do like with these tw uh, cousins coming after him um killing tuco can you imagine what what she would think if she found out that you know that he killed um crazy eight strangled him to death bubbled his body in a bathtub could you imagine what she would, she would think um if she found all that stuff out i mean i don't know if she does or not um but she has you know i don't blame her for doing doing what she wants uh i don't blame her for doing things the way that she is doing them because um, you know, I understand why she is because I've seen, I've seen what she hasn't seen. Um, so yeah, so far I don't get the hate for um, Skylar. Now in saying that, uh, I don't know if things are going to start progressing with her and her boss now, and I don't think I would have a big problem with it now because he has started divorce proceedings i don't know we'll see how it progresses i might change my mind i, I don't know uh jesse very different um very deadpan no smiling i feel like he really is going to become this bad guy i'm scared for that because you know i always love jesse you'll see how that uh, progresses as well but yeah another great episode uh a lot of uh threads that we can that our characters can uh, pick at in the coming episodes. I can't wait to see what is unveiled with uh, the whole Gus and um, the cartel thing. And how Walter is going to explain why he's back at the house. 
but we're going to leave it there for today thank you for watching with me don't forget to like comment and subscribe and we'll see you next time for more breaking bad see ya